so hey this is Mary um, we've had uh, a lot of projects to deal with um, we've had um, I've got these um, social media um, projects which I will I had to work with uh, social media icons and um, here you can see by the properties you can see by the properties um, that the files are basically uh, really large yeah here you can see that the height is like uh, 240 pixels in the and the the way is um the height is two hundred and eighty four pixels and the the way is uh two hundred and forty pixels. Um yeah and in my projects I might want to use uh a little uh less like um heavier and a less like a big um um icon. So basically, in this tutorial, we're going to see how to resize a picture. Um, well, uh, for example, if I open my picture, um, let's say here, open. If I open uh, some way, see here. So, it's here. so let's, for example, take uh, Facebook. Here we go. We <coughs> here is our uh, resize. If I open my file on paint, you might see it. <coughs> so here I want to resize it to make it uh, to reduce it. So I'm going to click for example let's say um let's say fifty to see what it is or to little let's say um let's say like uh, seventy let's say okay so here we go you can see that uh my picture has lost the quality so you can see uh you can see that um it it has become like um really really it has become really you can zoom it for you to see that he it has lost the quality. So basically, we are going to see how to resize it without it losing losing the quality. So I'm going to for that for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use a uh, Photoshop. Um, I'm gonna open a new file. I'm gonna look for myself, which is uh, which was um. Which was so uh, many six and um, we had this one. So here we go. Uh, we want to um, make sure that with the reduction of our um, icon, it doesn't lose the quality, the beautiful quality, like you can see here. So what you're going to do is you want to make sure that the V tool is selected. Then you want to go to image from the from the file menu. You want to go to image, and you want to click on image size. You can also use the shortcut, uh, which is uh, Alt Control E I. So you can just press here. And remember, we used uh, 70 uh, pixels there. So I'm going to use also 70 pixels here. And uh, we want to make sure that um, we want to make sure that the resemble image resemble image is selected. So we are going to it has change. So we are going to put it back twenty. And then you want to go here and make sure that big or big uh, sharper best for reduction is selected because. Um, it uh, like you say straight it's best for reduction if you want to enlarge a picture then uh, bike a big uh, small phone might be the best option so let's take bike a big um, sharper and then click ok you can see that um, the picture didn't lose the quality you can see also that the picture has been resized 
what you want what you want to do now is to just um um to save it um I I could just save it right now, but uh, the, I'm afraid the background is gonna be um, white. So I'm just gonna. You wanna go to the file menu, the toolbar. You you wanna select file menu, and you wanna go to save for web devices. Well, actually, you could also uh, use the shortcut Alt Shift Control S. Um, I think it's easier, but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it like straight from here. So, you wanna click on file and then open it. So, basically, here you got a pre the preview, here you can see it, the preview. You, I, I'm, I, for the purpose of this tutorial, want to use um, PNG24. But you can also use GIF if you want it. If you want, if you are working on the background, because you can also go from here from the method, the method, um, and choose the background color you really want and you wish to have. So, um, well, basically, me, um, I'm using PNG 24 for the purpose of this tutorial to show how it is. So, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna save it on the desktop, and I'm gonna call it paste. Uh, so I'm going to click the uh, register here on the desktop. There you go. So you want to go back to your desktop and uh, you want to open the picture. There you go. The picture hasn't lost the 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 picture is still the same. It hasn't lost any of the uh, the quality. So if I had saved, uh, let's say, let's go to paint. Let's go back to paint. Here you go. The picture is really really ugly. It has lost the, the whole quality. So it's um it's complete. If you want to save it, for example, let's save and compare both. Uh, I'm gonna save it um. As um, let's say test. And then I'm gonna paste. I'm gonna paint as PT. So I'm gonna save it uh, on my desktop too. Here we go. Okay, so it has been saved there. So I wanna open both. Both of those pictures. Um, here's the first one, and uh, here's the second one. So here we go. You gotta see that the the quality has been um, keep kept here, and the quality has been lost here. So here we go. You can see how it is um, really useful to use um, the Photoshop. Uh, Part of the tutorial to resize your image without losing the quality. So it, um, I think uh, I've been using it and it worked perfectly on my uh, flash document because I've been like, uh, doing flash document where I, where I was using them and uh, here you can see that um, it, it loses the quality here and here. And you can also, uh, I don't know if you could see it but here it has no background and here it does have a background so it's much more easier with Photoshop which is um totally, uh, something really really interesting. So thanks for watching. Um bye.